Oh, if so everything is spinning at the same time, how will I? If I'm moving with my arm in front of me and I'm not looking at what's around me, how can I know? Do you believe in science? Yes. Okay. If we look back at the history, other than very famous people like Samuel Robotham, who's considered a PhD and a founder of Flat Earth, he did over 200 experiments. Okay, from lighthouses, seeing islands from 50 miles away, stuff like that. And then there's experiments like the Sanyak experiment, like the uh, uh, Michael Moisey experiment, Aries failure. Okay, Aries failure. These are real experiments when they, where they sent a light one way, a light the other way, and they were both going to come back okay, through meters okay, yeah. and later. So basically, in all these experiments, they found out there was no movement. And they found out they're not. We're not spinning. Is now, it one person? Have you been to all of them? Ha, have you been to Madame Tussaud Auditorium? You should go there. You're sitting in a structure where the sky goes around, and that's all it does. Now, 2,000 years ago, they were telling us where planets were. How? When they didn't really have telescopes, because they would see the same planet via the same uh, location every single year, every single month. It's nothing complicated for you to understand. I can predict where the sun's going to be every single day for the whole year. I can predict where the moon is going to be every single day from the whole year. From our point of perspective. Now the sun is like this, correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, example. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, six. That's what you think. In reality, all it's doing is it, it disappears through something called a vanishing point because there's converging lines. Where as something goes further, it's going to go down. Okay, now this is the sun. The moon does the same thing. Planets are exactly the same thing, but they move this way. Just, you don't, just because you don't understand relativity. I, 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 I study celestial mechanics, orbital mechanics. I've been doing quantum physics for seven years. I can break it down okay, to you. Okay. What? Which university? Resonance Academy in Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay. And my profi, listen, my profi is... Yes, it is. Resonance Academy. Okay? Nassim Haraman. And this guy is completely against us. But the point is, why do I know? Because I'm with them. If you want to know information, you have to study everything. For me to talk about this, I have to have read a lot of Brian Greene work, a lot of Neil Grass Tyson work, yes or no? And I still do as much physics as I want all the time. Why? Because I want to know the truth. And if you send me a monkey with a camera on a, on a, on a rocket, a live video all the way to space station, all of us would shut up. And I would close this thing down, and I would make sure we, none of us exist, but they don't do that. But they have done so No, they haven't, not live. They, they put it, just when you can't see it, they shut up, and they go to 3D, and they go to CGI, and then they show us it docking. We're not stupid. We're here to uh, to, to, to really sure talk you, about science. Are you sure you studied this? this uh, yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. This, you don't really sound like an academic to Why? me. Why? Why not? Why? Because I'm I'm talking about something else. No, if I no, told no, you no, Einstein no. was full of garbage, would I still sound uh, an academic? Explain to me how AC works. Explain to me how Wi-Fi works. Explain to me how radio works. Yeah. Where, who invented them? Like they're not invented. Found by who? It's light. By it's who? The same as light. Who found it? You can observe it. You observe light around who you. Who found it? Who discovered it? It's not a discovery. It's a... Okay. There's something called a patent where you register a discovery, and his name is Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla invented something called alternate current. He invested. Listen. He invented something called radio, Wi-Fi, all of that. Obviously, I liked what you said. He didn't invent. He discovered. But you guys don't learn about him. You guys learn about Einstein. You've heard, but have you ever gotten a magnet in class at the age of six and rubbed it around the copper and see how electrons set off? Have you ever really gone into this crazy easy world of creating energy? Have you ever been taught yeah. how to plant? Yes. Okay, listen. We're science. Listen, my point of the story is science is broken down into two parts, experimental and theoretical. We no. are for experimental. No, we do theory and then do survival. Great, great. Then that should be easier for you to start understanding what we're talking about. If there is a curvature, then there's a formula to it. This is called the Pythagorean theory where it says that every mile squared times eight inches is the drop you're supposed to get. So if I go to the, to the waters and I see an, an, a lighthouse or an island 30 miles away, there's something going on. You understand? They're not supposed to be, I'm not supposed to be capable of seeing that island 30 miles away because there's supposed to be a drop. That's one. Two, if I have a thousand pictures of the moon and the sun and I have um, on Facebook, I can show you now, why can't I have a live video zooming in to Earth, going back, doing a nice zoom on the moon going back in space. Why don't I get that? Three, why is water always level? Four, give me a scientific proof of water sticking to a ball. Five, why did Neil Armstrong was shivering with his pen, not knowing what to say after he got to the moon? Why an astronaut's gone wild and a funny thing happened to the moon? These are two uh, uh, documentaries on YouTube by Bart Sibyl. You realize that these astronauts are just scared 
and they keep saying, hey, take it up with NASA, we're just passengers. We have nothing to do with all of this. Why? Instead of saying, hey, are you crazy? Are you against me coming to the moon? Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me do this. My point is, it's a very easy debate for them to shut us up in. All the, if, I was, if I was the government right now, I'd shut everyone up in one hour. But why don't they do it? Because they can't. And when you look at the history, Operation Paperclip, how they bought 4,000 scientists from Germany, how the founder of NASA, Werner von Braun, is a German Nazi scientist, who on his grave, Psalms 19.1, he says that the kingdom of heaven shows its glory through the firmament, then you realize something's going on. This is all a, a, a discovery, a journey you must take on your own. If you're not interested in this, forget about it. It was easy for me because I became a pilot. I have my private uh, license, credentials. It was easy for me because I've been doing uh, quantum physics for seven years. And it was easy for me because I tried to get into Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. He said I would go on and then the ride never took place. I've been following Elon Musk for a very long time and I love science and I, all I do is take pictures of the moon and of the stars and I'm a, a big researcher into Nikola Tesla more than you think. More than you. I literally went to his museum, I met people from his family. So I'm not here to fight with anyone. I'm here to promote love and compassion, especially to the new generation. And my problem are you guys, my cousins. I have some who have PhDs who think they came from monkeys, who, 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 who wish that one billion people in Africa and Asia would Daniel, die. And the Middle East. said we come from monkeys. That's not even true. Okay. Oh, good. So now you're an ancestor from the monkey. So cousins. Cousins. Oh, second cousins. Well, like, and then I put if you want to say cousins, I'm not. I'm that's a cousin of a pig, to be honest. The point is, we're here to talk science right now. You can't come to a table without doing the, without doing your 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 experimental physics and proofs. Okay, we're just here to promote truth. You're promoting conspiracy. No, you're, you're, you're associating. Look, when I was your age, we laughed. We laughed about religions. We laughed about the idea of flat earth. We laughed about our stupid ancestors who thought that the earth was flat. I'm like you. And I loved Star Wars. And I loved the Big Bang. And I loved the electrons and photons flying through this gravity and this beautiful gravitons with this space time construct and the condition and how they became bacteria. Then the bacteria started evolutioning into this beautiful. Uh, fish and then monkey. I loved it too. Okay, okay. No, no one said graviton has been proven. Uh, it's proof first. It's just a theory. Yes, but 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 what we explain why things go up and down is not a theory. It's called density and buoyancy and electromagnetism. And it can work every single time. But you tried to say it was proof. I was saying you can't prove gravity, and you were saying it could. No, you told me you could prove gravity. Yeah, but, but no, gra I'm saying graviton. Graviton is particle associated to gravity. No, gra gravity holds water to a ball. You said you could prove it to me. So I was asking for proof of that. Yeah, because. And you give me an wait, equation. Wait. You give me an equation on a piece of paper, and I said that's not proof of anything because it's no, a no, language. No, no, no. I said, I said, math is a language that helps explain something. It doesn't prove something in if nature. If you do, if you see, just do the experiment on, I don't know, if you do the experiment on on space, you see, you see. That look, look, look at this, look at this. Nassim quantity gravity paper. See this? Are you watching? Nassim quantity gravity. Look at this. Gravity quantity and the holographic mass. Nassim. This is all quantum physics and all about. Einstein's equations and how he continues it. This guy is my property and he promotes everything you're saying, gravity. I'm here to tell you this is garbage because this is maths. Maths will always describe something but it will never explain why this folds, why steel uh, uh, sinks in water and plastic stays or rubber stays is all about density, nothing else. Wood is less dense than, than water, yes, so it stays up. Steel is more dense than water, so it goes down. Helium is less dense than water, uh, than air, so it goes up. Bubbles are less dense than, than water, so they go up. It's all about density and buoyancy. Now, when you talk about, no, but why is it going down? Then I, I'll enter the electrical universe with you, and I'll talk about anode and cathode, I'll talk about electromagnetism. You see, in science, you, PhDs now, we describe the photon, okay, and the proton, as forces that are keeping it together. There's no longer something called the weak force and the strong force. We call it electromagnetism and gravity. For me to come here and stand here, it's because I understand science. If I never took quantum physics or experimental physics or orbital mechanics or celestial mechanics, I wouldn't stand here. My problem is I'm an old man and I'm getting older. And what I care about is spreading new knowledge. Because my cousin wants to wear her mini skirt just so you can drive next to Max and she lives in this materialistic bullshit world of banks and me, me, me instead of we, we, we. She really wants half the population to die because she believes in scarcity and lack of space. 
I'm here to tell her, silence. You're supposed to be living in a world where fruits and vegetables are abundant, where you have 14D technology printing Lamborghinis and houses, where free energy is supposed to be unlimited, where your right brain of creativity is at its maximum, and not this fear-based bullshit of 40 hours going to university, being indoctrinated, saying I got an education and I'm not going to ask questions. And then you tell me 99% of scientists don't know anything. Obviously they don't. They're compartmentalized and they're departmentalized. I speak to NASA personnel, what can I tell you? They're nice people. They're nice people. And the guy that makes seatbelts for spaceships, he's amazing. And the guy that checks the combustion pool is amazing. But they have nothing to do with the people hiding. This is just typical nice, but we're not into this. Us who promote this, we're not even into this. We're talking about very crazy stuff, like activating your DNA. We're talking about plants communicating. We're talking about flying through different realms. You know what I mean? We're much more advanced. So this is a first step for you. If you still believe in the moon landing, you're wasting your time here. There's a beautiful girl waiting for you, go chat her. Do you believe in the moon landing? Of course I do. Then why are you still standing here? It's not, it's why not are you still standing fact. here? Yes, it's a fact, just like Santa Claus. I swear to you, they're both facts. I saw Santa Claus when I was young four times. And even the blue, the, the tooth fairy left me a tooth under my head. That's a fact. And a thousand kids will back me up. Yes, that's a fact. Don't waste your time here. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Perfect. Thank you. Know you. Thank you. I'm, I'm with my family. family. Who are you with? These are my family. Who are you with? I, I, don't, no, I don't need He's people. He's wasting our time. I know. Police, get him out of here. I don't need people to support me. 200. Nobody supports you. A bunch of indoctrinated fools who are waking up. Okay. And 200 proves okay. the world is not you're educated. Okay. What you're doing is being indoctrinated. That's it. If you if you're educated, you're gonna be looking for intelligence. Intelligence information all across the world. Don't be afraid. We're not here to hurt anyone. My family are responsible for, for stuff like this. You know what I mean? The Masons of my family are bad, evil people in my family. You know what I mean? So what I'm here to tell you is, let's choose peace and love and compassion. And you're going to see this beautiful earth. I'm willing to, to lead. Not because I want to be a leader, but because I know for a fact that I love everybody equally. Whether you're black or Chinese or an Arab or a Jew or, a, or any race, I see all of you as equal to me. Absolutely. Okay, that is the truth. And when I'm in the train in New York City and I'm stuck with 20 people around me, I love the smell of each one. I love the smell of the Latino, of the Indian, of the Paki, of the Arab, of the Jew, of the black. That's who I became now. What's your